Cities are God always, you know, never ends. Unique to the pages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord of our present and past all things, Treasury of good things and Giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, God, out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and painted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh are rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle of a nest for herself, for she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Nay, for the lawgiver will give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of gods shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, a defender, behold, and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. <coughs> For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast laid all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, and wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy, and thy salvation be thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh to them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. <coughs> Nay, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. <coughs> Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for the will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for the name I lifted up my soul. For thou, o Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. <coughs> For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the most hades. 
O God, who transgressors have risen up against me in the assembly of the mighty and sought after my soul, and they have not set me before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, are compassionate and merciful, long suffering and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O holy apostle and Esmus, entreat the merciful God that he grants to our souls remission of transgressions, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake wast born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion of good one, and didst despoil death by death, and is God to dist reveal the resurrection, this day not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, and show forth thy love for mankind, the merciful one, except that thou took those who gave thee birth and interceded for us. And do thou, our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst shine forth upon the whole world like a beam, O blessed one, shining with the rays of the most radiant Paul, that sun who hath illumined the world. Wherefore we honor thee, O glorious Onesimus. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about for thy holy angels that guard and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of an unapproachable glory. For blessed are thou under the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, <coughs> who without corruption gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, the that we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, for long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou dost hang upon the life-giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst to destroy death. Be gracious unto us, sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. 
Lord, we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, that putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new, and live for thee, our master and benefactor, and that thus, by following in thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send that glory with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Let's worship God, our King, O Father, and the poor, Christ our King, God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King of God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Compassion and majesty is thou for all who covers thyself with light of the garden, who stretches out the heaven as a word of earth, and who supports his chambers and the waters, who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who establishes the earth and the shrewdness thereof, and shall not return back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garden, is his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest a bound that they shall not pass, and to return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall be fruitful, the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them of the birds of the heaven, he watch from the midst of the rocks, so they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and the great earth for the service of men, to bring forth out of the earth, and one make it flood, the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with woe, and for strengthen at man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon, which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun and earth is going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night when all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. The young lions roaring after their prey, seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor unto the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are not things creeping innumerable, small living creatures of the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto them thou shalt be returned. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. For that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work in iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth is going down, thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God endure here, and let us pray to the Lord. Church abroad, for the venerable priest.
priesthood, the active in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, right seraphim, and all of his brethren in Christ, so let us pray to the Lord. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery, for every city and country and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord.
and read the sign to the vain arguments of the philosophers and writers, as though they were spiders' webs, calling all to recognize the Creator, and abolishing the vain worship of demons. Wherefore I pray that by your supplications ye deliver me from those who are irrational. For many sake have I patiently waited for the O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord, by your entreaties unto God deliver us all from the true turmoil of temptations. The cruel deception of shameful heresies, the evil counsel of the demons, the fire which burneth in the absence of light, the everlasting worm, the gnashing of teeth and all other torments, and beseech him that for the sake of your temperance and toils, we may receive the reward of the virtues, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven and great mercy. In the morning watch, and come back from the morning watch, and let Israel hope in the Lord, clearly receiving all the fortunes of inflected light, of the ineffable dispensation of the Trinity, in so far as human nature can so do, the most lauded twelve show themselves perfectly to bring within the seventy-two the company of equal zeal, enlightening all the ends of the world, which were darkened by the gloom of malignant heresies, and they entreat Christ to grant it the world great mercy. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Let Pamphilus and Seleucides together with Alan and Paul, for furious Theodorus and Julian, and the company of the five Egyptians be melodiously and with faith as with a harp of twelve strings. O praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye peoples, exalted splendidly in the faith of Christ, by divine glory of glorious Pantheus. Thou wast shown to be the goodly adornment of Caesarea, being therein an all beloved hierarch, in accordance with thy name, a most honored athlete and a faithful martyr. And the truth of the Lord abideth forever. O mighty Pamphilus, thou didst assemble a company of valiant athletes fell in number, who showed themselves to be a godly army, and vanquishing the enemy together. Ye were taken to the Lord in diverse ways, reposing amid your martyrdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the staff of thine intercession, more good they O Torokos, drive the bestial passions from my wretched soul, guiding me peacefully toward life, and add me to the Holy Father of thy chosen sheep. For glorious light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly holy blessed Father of Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, and it is for thee at all times to begin with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world hath glorified thee. Let us attend, peace be unto all, 
Wisdom, the peculiar and the fifth throne. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge Our sake, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified us that name unto the age of Solomon. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure forever, the sting of the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. And grant this, O Lord. Thanks and for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. And grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. And grant this, O Lord. The person that for our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, Defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, so let us have. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For a good God art thou, the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. And most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As I witnesses to the mysteries of the Savior of disciples, he preached the invisible one who had no beginning, saying, the beginning was the word. He were not created before the angels, nor were he taught of men, but by the wisdom of the most high. Wherefore, as he had boldness, pray he in behalf of our soul. Servants look at the hands of their masters, as the eyes of handmaid look at the hands of their mistress, so do our eyes of unto the Lord our God, until he take pity on us. Together let us praise the apostles of the Lord with him, for having arrayed themselves in the armor of the cross, they abolished the deception of the demons. 
and we shown to be convicted by the supplications of them and all the saints. O God, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for great now we fill them the basement. Great the other our soul, and fill them with the love of course, come upon them that prosper. And the basement on the proud, your souls fill with insatiable love. O holy martyrs, he did not deny Christ. And enduring the diverse wounds of sufferings, we cast down the audacity of the tormentors, and having preserved the faith intact and unharmed, you were translated to the heavens, wherefore as he hath his before him, ask that he grant us great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We the faithful bless the O Virgin, dear O Tocos, as we speak, and we glorify thee, the unshakable city, the unassailable rampart, our steadfast intercessor, and the refuge of our souls. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word, for my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people with soil. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blood of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In their sufferings, O Lord, thy martyrs receive imperishable crowns from thee, our God. For possessed of thy might, they cast down the tormentors and crush the feeble audacity of the demons. By their supplication, save thou our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, the Word of the Father, who was incarnate of thee, have we come to the Virgin Theotokos, who art your who are on our blessed? Wherefore we unceasingly magnify thee in song. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, heart, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch to real, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas. First and hour of the Russian Church of God and all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Seraphim and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the slightest authorities and armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, 
both in the homeland of the diaspora and for their salvation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren, God to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. God might look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who were strife. We pray the our kind hearted Lord Mark and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that He might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety. And turn unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray that you would bless the building of our new church to the glory of His name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power and operation, grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present who await to be great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For a merciful God, art thou the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. He that is, is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the Holy the Orthodox the Christians unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Who are honorable in the cherubim, and the unconfirmed, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, and the very Theotokos, the Edu, we magnify. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our whole glory to thee. Father, into the Son, into the Holy Spirit, would now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Would now mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. We Christ, our true God, through the interceptions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas, a wonder worker, Archbishop of Mira and Lycia, of the Holy Great Martyr and the other Pontelaman, of the Holy Martyr Pamphilus and Porphyrios and those with them, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Reserve a lot for many.